advance this J Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d cube minus g square plus d minus 1 into y equals to 4 sin x. So firstly let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative. Here d cube is the highest derivative. So 3 will be our order. And the highest power of the highest derivative will be our degree. Degree will be 1. Or we can just write the given differential equation as d cube y minus d squared y plus dy minus y equals to 4 sin x. We know that differential operator d is dy dx. Then d square will be d square by dx square and d cube will be d cube by dx cube. Right? Now we can write the given equation as d cube y. Firstly, d cube y as d cube y by dx cube minus d square y as d square y by dx square plus dy as dy by dx minus y equals to 4 sin x. Right? Now identify the highest derivative here. d cube y by dx cube is the highest derivative. So order, order will be 3. Since our order is 3, we'll definitely get only 3 constants in the final answer. Okay. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree will be 1. We are given a differential equation. d cube minus d square plus d minus 1 into y equals to 4 sin x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d cube minus d square plus d minus 1 and q equals to 4 sin x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus y. Here yc is a part sorry yc is a complementary function yp is a particular integral. We will get yc using the auxiliary equation roots of auxiliary equation or homogeneous equation or the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is the homogeneous equation to the given non-homogeneous equation. And we'll find y by using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly, let's find the complementary function using the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of d equals to d cube minus d square plus d minus 1 right. Now replace differential operator d by m so that will get f of m equals to m q minus m square plus m minus 1 then our auxiliary equation becomes m cube minus m square plus m minus 1 equals to 0. Now take m square common from the first two terms we will get m square times m minus 1 plus the two terms remains the same. The next two terms remain the same again. If you notice we are having m minus 2 in both the terms. So let's take m minus 2 common then we'll get m minus 1 into m square plus 1. Equate each factor to 0 or find the factors of m square plus 1 firstly. We can write plus 1 as minus of minus 1 which is equal to m square minus of we can write minus 1 as, we know that i square equals to minus 1, right? So, we can replace minus 1 by i square. This is of a square minus b square form. So, we can write it as a plus b into 
a minus b. So these are the factors to m square plus 1, right? We'll get m minus 1 into m plus i into m minus i equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. m minus 1 equals to 0, m plus i equals to 0, m minus i equals to 0. From m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. And from m plus i equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus i. And from m minus i equals to 0, we'll get m equals to i. Right? Then m equals to 1 minus i plus i are the roots or simply m equals to 1 plus or minus i are the roots. Here 1 is a real root we can say and plus or minus i is a purely imaginary root or complex conjugate roots we can say. Therefore m equals to 1 plus or minus i are the roots of f of m equals to 0 or auxiliary equation which are real and complex conjugate or one real root and the other are complex conjugates. Two complex roots we can say easily. Are two imaginary roots. We know that if we have some m1, only one root, then the solution to this will be one constant into e power one root, that is the root into x. Okay. If a plus ib is a complex number, then the conjugate of a plus ib will be a minus ib. If a minus b is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a plus ib. Suppose if we have a plus or minus ib roots, okay, if we have some two roots which are complex conjugate, then yc will be e power real part into x into one constant into cos bx plus another constant into sine bx. In the case of a equals to 0, we'll get e power 0x which is e power 0. Since we know that e power 0 is 1, so we'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx which is c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Right? Now let's write the solution. Not the solution, the complementary function to our problem. Complementary function will be yc equals to for 1, c1 equal 1 into x and for plus or minus i, we'll get c2 cos i. Here for b equals to 1, we'll get cos x plus c2 sine x, okay? Just compare this plus or minus i with plus or minus ib, then for b equals to 1, we'll get c1 cos 1 into x plus c2 sine 1 into x, that is c2, okay, one constant, right? c2 cos x plus c3 sine x. Therefore, yc equals to c1 e power x plus c2 cos x plus c3 sine x. Now we need to find particular integral. We know that yp is given by 1 by f of d into q f of d we have d cube minus d square plus d minus 1 into q is 4 sine x we can write this as constant 4 into 1 by f of d 
into sin x. So this is all. 1 by f of d into sin ax form for a equals to 1. We will find d square which is given by minus a square which is equals to minus 1 square plus minus 1. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1 in the denominator. Consider d cube minus d square plus d minus 1. We can write d cube as d square into d and the remaining terms as it is. Now let's replace d square by minus 1. We'll get minus 1 into d minus of minus 1 plus d minus 1 which is equal to minus into d is minus d. Minus into minus 1 is plus 1 plus d minus 1 where minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled minus d plus d gets cancelled equals to 0. Right? We should always remember that denominator must be non-zero. But we got 0 by replacing d square by minus 1. So what we'll do? We'll write 1x into 1 by find the derivative of d cube minus d square plus d minus 1. So f of d equals to d cube minus d square plus d minus 1. Then f dash of d will be derivative of d cube is 3d square minus derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of d is 1 and derivative of constant is 0. Right? Then f dash of d will be 3d square minus 2d plus 1. Into sin x. Again, d square appears in the denominator. So what we have to do? Again, we'll check for d square. Replace d square by minus 1. We get minus 3 minus 2d plus 1 which is equal to minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 minus 2d. Now let's take minus 2 common from the two terms. We'll get minus 2 times 1 plus d. Right? Which is non-zero. So we can replace d square. Right? Replace d square by minus 1 square which is equal to minus 1. Then we'll get 4x into 1 by 3 into minus 1 minus 2d plus 1 into sin x which is equal to 4x into 1 by minus 3 minus 2d plus 1 into sin x, which is equal to 4x into 1 by minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, minus 2d into sin x. We'll just write these steps in the denominator. YP becomes 4x into 1 by, take minus 2 common from the two terms of denominator, we'll get minus 2 times 1 plus d into sin x. Again, we can write this as 4x into, split this as 1 by minus 2 into 1 by 1 plus d into sin x. For x into, we can write 1 by minus 2 as minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 1 plus d. See here in the denominator we have in, we are having 1 plus d, right? Just Replace this plus by minus, then we'll get min 1 minus d. Now multiply and divide with 1 minus d to this fraction into sin x. 2 1s are 2 2s are. This equals to minus 2x into 1 into 1 minus d is 1 minus d by 1 plus d into 1 minus d. Into sin x. Now we are having yp equals to minus 2x into 1 minus d by 1 plus d into 1 minus d into sin x, right? In the denominator we are having 1 plus d into 1 minus d which is of a plus b into a minus b form. So we can just write this as, we'll change the denominator as 1 square minus d square using the formula a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square into sin x. Now, this becomes minus 2x into 1 minus d by 1 square is 1 minus d square into sin x. Again, d square appears in the denominator. So, what we have to do? We have to again replace d square by minus 1 and see what 
the denominator becomes. Always we have to remember that denominator must be non-zero. Just replace g square by minus 1. We will get 1 minus of minus 1 which is 1 minus into minus plus 1 equals to 2 non-zero, right? So we got non-zero. We can dare to replace g square by minus 1 is equals to minus 2x into 1 minus d by 1 minus of replace d square by minus 1 into sin x. This becomes minus 2x into 1 minus d by 1 minus into minus plus 1 into sin x which is equals to minus 2x into 1 minus d by 1 plus 1 2 into sin x cancel the 2's we'll get minus x into 1 into sin x is sin x minus d into sin x we know that d is a differential operator so here we need to find derivative of sin x with respect to x equals to minus x into sin x minus d plus d by d by dx into sin x now let's find the derivative of sin x with respect to x is equal to minus x into sin x minus derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. Now take this minus inside the brackets or just multiply these two terms with minus. Then we'll get x times minus sin x minus and minus plus cos x or x into write the term involving positive sign now the term involving negative sign therefore yp equals to x into cos x minus sin x now let's write the general solution The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We have yc, c1 e power x plus c2 cos x plus c3 sin x plus yp x times cos x minus sin x which is the required solution. See the order is 3 and we got the constants 3. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.